What's up everyone, my name is Frank Cold. I'm having a great day today. For those of you who have been watching me for a while now, you guys know that I fully support two amazing products and I am backed and affiliated by these companies. The first one being the Strike Pack FPS Dominator by Collective Minds and the second one being the Mega Mods Custom Controllers. Both of these products are amazing on their own, but what happens if we combine the two together? Are we able to create the most elite PlayStation 4 controller on the market? But better yet, are we able to create the world's first four paddled Stripe Pack Mega Mods controller? So let's get to having some fun and let's find out. As always, I'll leave timestamps down below in the description so you all can skip to whichever part of the video that you want to see first as a friendly reminder if you are looking to purchase any of the products that i'm showing off in today's video use code spara at checkout on the collective minds website to save 10 percent off your purchase as well as use code spara at checkout on the mega mods website to save 15 percent off of your purchase also i do stream every saturday and sunday starting at 1 p.m eastern time so make sure to smash that subscribe button and press that bell to be notified for future videos you guys are excited and ready for this video smash that like button and let's get into things on the table i've gone ahead and laid out two setups left hand side is the competition setup and then right hand side is the modded setup for those of you who are relatively new to the channel and might not know a lot about these products, I do have full tutorial videos of them all listed down below in the description. But just to give you guys a brief overview, the Strike Pack FPS Dominator by Collect the Mines is a $30 controller attachment, which gives you two remappable paddles and mod capabilities. If we move up to the Mega Mod controllers, they are fully customizable controllers. The left hand side is their macro remap controller, which gives you two remappable macro paddles. And then the right hand side is their modded controller. Prices will vary generally from $150 to over $200, depending on how you have them customized. If we work our way up, of course, we have the control freaks. I can't game without them. On the left thumbstick, I use the Control Freak Alpha. And then on the right thumbstick, I use the Control Freak CQCX. And then top center, we have the Strike Pack Alternate Paddles. These are currently my go-to paddles. Let's start assembly on the competition setup. Mega Mods is using factory OEM parts. So the Strike Pack should clip in perfectly. The latch is gonna loop around and it's gonna secure itself on the bottom three speaker holes. It's actually a perfect tight snug fit we'll go ahead and all that we have left to do just pop in our control freaks like so i'll do the right one just like that Let's go ahead test this out feels great my fingers are naturally resting on all four of the back paddles which is actually perfect just to show you what this looks like from behind everything is actually well placed perfect clearance nothing is interfering my go-to though, however, are the alternate paddles. So let's go ahead and swap this in just to see what this looks like. They do fit, but there is some clearance issue with the Mega Mods paddles, which it's actually just catching. Actually, this doesn't press down. Now this doesn't press down, but it's actually good to show you guys because that's what's causing the interference just that little corner so technically i can just sand that down just creating a nice little gap for us and we'll be able to use the alternate paddles from the strike pack but for now we'll stick with this setup both of these products are in my opinion perfectly designed and pairing them together i think we actually just created the perfect most ultimate controller it feels solid it's a robust feeling it doesn't feel like anything is, is gonna break uh, and this could probably endure many many hours of gaming both of these products on their own have endured many hours of gaming so pairing them together i think we'll just step up our gameplay to the next level i'll go ahead i'll put this to the side and we'll go ahead and assemble the modded setup i've gone ahead and already assembled the modded setup and i do have to say the royale edition of the stripe pack does complete and complement my joker themed controller with it being purple and blue and i've also gone ahead and installed the alternate strike pack paddle 
just to show you guys that there's plenty of clearance with both of these paddles and that is because the mega mods modded controllers have a different style back buttons they are a lot smaller than the macro remap paddles but they being smaller less surface area to grip onto still very comfortable to use but in those heavy gaming situations where you really need to utilize all four of the paddles i find myself preferring the larger surface area on the macro remap paddles so this competition setup is probably going to be my go-to but nonetheless let's test both of these setups out and see how they perform up on screen i have some live stream gameplay clips for you guys i know you're all gonna ask me what i have the paddle set to although there are no right or wrong answers everyone has their own play style i think my setup is actually next to perfect for fortnite for example i have the strike back paddle set to circle next and i have the mega mods paddles set to my build my wall and my ramp those are the two that I use the most. So I have this combination because as we're moving along with the squad, I'm, we're bunny hopping around, let's say, if we get attacked from behind, I could quickly rotate, press the paddle, initiate the build right away. And in the same motion, I'm building my wall and I'm building my ramp right away. You can't get quicker than that actually because my thumbs never left the controller. Each of my fingers had a job to do and it's the quickest that you could possibly get actually. Getting to the Call of Duty setup, I have my Strike Back paddles still set to Circle and X, but I have my Mega Mods paddles set to Square and Triangle. So this will allow me to do the uh, bunny hop shots, jumping around the corner, the drop shots, the sliding kills as well. When I'm in a tight situation, I can quickly reload my weapon or when I'm really, really stuck, I could pull out my secondary, pick off that last guy and my thumbs never left the thumbsticks. I've been in full control of my character this whole entire time. All my fingers had a drop to do and you can't get much quicker than that. I know you guys are gonna ask me if both Strike Pack mods and Mega Mods mods work together. Yes, they do, it's absolutely insane. Up on screen, I'm showing off the Rapid Fire mod that's turned on on the Mega Mods controller and also the paddle drop shot mod from the stripe back so they do both work together in sync it is absolutely insane you guys can pull off some crazy combinations mods are generally safe to use but you guys know how i stand on mods i don't support or condone their use never have never will yes i do use mods i need to to make the tutorial videos for you guys but that's about it guys ultimately just have fun gaming I've been secretly testing out this controller combination for a while now. I do want to say my go-to combination is the Mega Mods Macro Remap Controller with the Stripe Back. And of course, I gotta have my Control Freaks on there. I feel very comfortable using both original and alternate paddle design of the Stripe Back. So for me, the deciding factor was really the shape of the back buttons on the Mega Mods controllers. And you guys already know from my previous videos, I feel way more comfortable using the macro remap style of paddle larger surface area easier for me to grip onto very very responsive ergonomically designed as well just all around more comfortable and more natural for me for me to use this combination now this is going to be my go-to controller setup but what i might do mega mods might get mad at me i might slightly alter and reshape the design of the macro remap paddle just right at the bottom, which will allow me to use the alternate style of strike pack paddle. It's gonna be a slight modification, but once I do that, I think I'm gonna have a next to perfect controller. That's the engineering side of me coming out there, but I think once I do that, I'll have a perfect controller set up for my play style. I hope you all enjoyed watching this fun video. If you have any questions about what I spoke about today, feel free to leave a comment down below. Be more than happy to help you guys out. If you want, you can also contact me on social media. Everything is down below in the description. I will also leave a link to join my Discord. Guys, for those of you who have made it this far in the video, quick sneak peek, let me know what you think. Should I create some prototype merch hoodies? Let me know down below in the comments section. 
Everyone, if you all enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and share with your friends. Greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, check me out for the very first time. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my content, and don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. Everyone, you guys rock. Spire Troopers, have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.